Hey YouTube, what's happening? Woo! Gonna make me lose my mind. <laughs> How's it going guys? I hope you're having a good day. So I've been having a lot of people ask me, especially parents, to teach their kids and other people how to play soccer. And I don't even know where to begin with something like that. I don't even have time to eat on some days, let alone the time to go teach a whole bunch of random people how to play a sport. So what I thought might be a good idea is to make a video and then direct people to that video so they can learn from that. So that way I can reach a whole lot more people than if I were to teach each person individually. Now, when it comes to soccer, there are three things that I believe that you need to do in order to excel at the sport. Number one is running, because I don't know if you know this, but you're gonna be doing a lot of running in soccer. <laughs> The reason running is so important is not only because you're going to be doing a lot of it on the field, but also because you want to build up your speed, your sprints, and your agility. The more you run, the more your body builds up a new tolerance level of what it can take. And sometimes just being able to extend a half a second more than the other player can mean the difference between a goal or a miss. Number two is my personal suggestion, but it's not entirely necessary, and that is to do some weightlifting. Now the reason I suggest this is because during your games you're going to encounter a lot of people who either play dirty, play rough or really really aggressively and you're going to be and you're going to need to be able to fight them off. Now I'm not saying you need to look like Broly over here, but if your physique is a total toothpick, people are going to walk right over you. So you just kind of got to make a personal decision whether that one matters to you or not. And number 3 is practice, practice and more practice. <laughs> Now, the only other thing that I can think of besides these three components is learning some moves or some tricks. You can either go on YouTube and search endless, endless videos of professional players or street players and try to learn from them. Or you can watch this video and that will give you a decades summary of things that I've learned in a five minute video. So here you go. Enjoy.
what'd you guys think? I hope you guys enjoy these tips. Now go out, try them out, and have some fun. And if by chance you happen to get one on camera, please tag me. I would love to see it. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later. Bye.